Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Beth and I'm sorry for the scuzzy way I look. I just got out of the gym and came home to find an unboxing to do. I was too excited to wait. This is the storied box, which obviously is in a bag, but whatever. It says storied, the box for storytellers. Caution contents may spark your imagination. So I have not heard anything about this box. I was looking for bookish boxes to order for my birthday and then with my tax return. And I found this and it was $20 for a month plus shipping and handling. So I decided to go ahead and purchase it and see what it was all about. I don't know that they told me a theme or anything. But let's get into it. I will link them down below. You can kind of check it out more. It is four writers, which is really exciting for me. Let's see. They just really packaged this tightly. Urgh. All right, so the first thing I see is a couple of bookmarks. And inspiration dice. Oh, I love it. It's plot and action expansion. And this is from a shop called Inspiration Dice on Etsy. So the dice have things like dead end, secret, destroy, visit, treasure, physical change, murder, red herring, flashback, etc. So these are plot and action. I don't know if you can see them. There we go. And that's where you can find them. That's really cool. I had looked at getting some before and they were sold out every time I tried. So then there's also a couple of bookmarks. This one says, I tell stories. And the back is just kind of cloudy. And then this one says, story. So that's really cool. I'm going to put these in my notebooks that I use for writing. So that'll be fun. And what else have I got? Ooh, a book. It's wrapped up in tissue. Let's see. The Writer's Guide to Using Brain Science to Hook Readers from the Very First Sentence. Wired for Story by Lisa Cron. All right. So it says, imagine knowing what the brain craves from every tale it encounters. What fuels the success of any great story? And what keeps readers transfixed? Wired for Story reveals these cognitive secrets. And it's a game changer for anyone who has ever set pen to paper. The vast majority of writing advice focuses on writing well as if it were the same as telling a great story. This is exactly where many aspiring writers fail. They strive for beautiful metaphors, authentic dialogue, and interesting characters, losing sight of the one thing that every engaging story must do, ignite the brain's hardwired desire to learn what happens next. When writers tap into the evolutionary purpose of story and electrify our curiosity, it triggers a delicious dopamine rush that tells us to pay attention. Without it, even the most perfect prose won't hold anyone's interest. Backed by recent break breakthroughs in neuroscience, as well as examples from novels, screenplays, and short stories, Wired for Story offers a revolutionary look at story as the brain experiences it. Each chapter zeroes in on an aspect of the brain, its corresponding revelation about story, and the way to apply it to your storytelling right now. That's really cool. Right, and it was published by 10 Speed Press from Berkeley, um, which is, I believe, part of Crown Publishing. And it says Lisa, Lisa Cron, the uh, author, is an instructor at the UCLA Extension Writers Program. She has worked in publishing at W.W. W. Norton as an agent at the Angela Rinaldi Literary Agency, as a producer on shows for Showtime and Court TV, and as a story consultant for Warner Brothers and Village Roadshow and lives in Santa Monica, California. You can go to wiredforstory.com 
to learn more. This looks really interesting, guys. I'm excited that I got this. Yay! I was meaning to do some more nonfiction stuff this year. So this is definitely going to be the next nonfiction on my list. It was published in 2012. So if you haven't heard about it, maybe you should go check it out. I will read it soon and get back to you with a review and some tips from it, probably. I really like some of the pages are like that, have cognitive secret tips and things on them. That looks really cool. I can't wait to get started. I may go back and forth between this and the uh, the book that Brittany sent me in my blind date with a book because that one's really good, but I'm interested to start this as well. So that was my storied for the month of March. I don't know if I'm going to continue uh, just because right now I'm a substitute teacher, so money's a little scarce, but it was a great box. And I will definitely probably be ordering another one at some point in the future, if not for next month, sometime soon, hopefully. There you go. I will link them down below. And I'm going to go start this book. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye.